Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Moffitt. Guys, I thought we'd do a, a video today of a movie. Um, I made a video a while back on the worst movie I ever saw. A movie almost killed me. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, today I thought I'd do a video on a movie that's not the worst one I ever saw, but it's probably the most unusual movie I've ever seen that I don't think anybody else has seen, or very few people in America actually. It's a movie called Health. It was made by Robert Altman back in the 80s, I think 1980. And it uh, had uh, Carol Burnett, James Garner, uh, Henry Gibson, uh, Lauren Bacall, a few other people. And uh, it was a political satire. The problem was, after Robert Altman made it, for some reason there wasn't a problem with the studio. And it got put on the shelf and it wasn't released for a couple of years. And they spent a long time making it in Tampa, St. Petersburg area. And uh, it had never been released anywhere in America for a couple of years. And I, I was staying in Tampa at the time. To, uh, I was working on the Merch Marines. I went to the Union Hiring Hall in Tampa to catch a ship. And what I would do is uh, I'd get bored sitting in the hall waiting for ships to come in. I'd go to Tampa and see what I could do. And they used to have a, a movie theater not far from the old Floridan Hotel where I was staying at. And uh, usually they would be movies at the, uh, the local college ran the movie theater, like an art film theater. And it'd have European films and art films and, and stuff they colorized back from the old days of film. Well, uh, one day they put on the movie Health. The movie Health had never been released anywhere in America. It was going to be the release, the, the, uh, the premiere of the movie, so to speak. It was like on a weekend. And... Uh, Normally when I went to that theater, there was a dozen people in the audience. And that day I went to the theater and uh, I thought there was something wrong because there were so many people, so many crowds of people. You had to wait in line to get into the theater. And uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get a seat. There was that many people. And it, it was unusual because it wasn't just there were so many people. They were excited. I've never seen people so excited to be and go see a movie in my life. I know it was going to be the premiere, but it had <laughs> Carol Burnett <laughs> and, and James Garner. I mean, I, I love them both. They're great actors, and, and I love Carol Burnett. She's a great comedian. But uh, they're not big stars, and they weren't going to be there. And this movie was made a few years ago, and what's the big deal? So I got a seat. I go in, and it's a political satire. It's it's not that really great of a movie, but it's okay. But it's, it's average. And uh, I can't figure out why all these people are here. And the movie starts, and the actors come on, and you see James Garner, and you see Carol Burnett, and you see Henry Gibson, who I like a lot, one of my favorite character actors. And uh, But then something odd started happening. Uh, as people were walking down the stairs, or they would, you would have extras walk by, and uh, like somebody would hold up a sign or move a chair or something, or you'd see some old lady holding a newspaper, and... One part of the crowd over on one side started yelling and screaming. And uh, then nothing would happen for a few minutes. And then somebody would walk by in a costume dressed up as the ear of corn. And another group of people would start yelling and screaming. And uh, then you'd have somebody else walk by. And they weren't actors. They weren't actresses. They weren't stars. They were just regular people walking by. And then it realized, it dawned on me what was happening. This movie I was watching had never been released anywhere in America. It had been going on for a long time. It was made in, in Sarasota, St. Pete, Tampa area. It had tons and tons of extras, tons of extras. It was filmed at a really old, uh, cool hotel, huge hotel, I think, in uh, Sarasota, Tampa area. And uh, all these extras were in the movie, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of extras were in this movie. And for a couple years, they've been telling their friends how they were in this Hollywood movie. And it was going to be released pretty soon. It was going to become real. So whatever got released, they waited and waited and waited year after year. And they kept telling their friends they were in this movie. Nobody saw them. And they wanted their friends to see them. Well, now it finally got released. <laughs> it was going to be in Tampa at the theater where I went that day. And everybody else who was ever in that movie went. So what I was doing when I watched that movie is I wasn't watching a regular movie. I was watching the the uh, extras that were in that movie see this for the very first time with their friends and families. It was like a giant home movie. 
for the people who were in the the film. Uh, and it was one of the most unusual film going experiences I've ever had in my life. I gave up watching the actors and the plot and the storyline. And what I started doing is just doing what everybody else in the whole movie theater was doing was paying attention to what was going on behind the scene. The people in the crowd, when the elevator opened up, who was standing there? You know, like it got to be a wholly different experience. And, and seeing and watching an experience in a movie. Um, and this was the most unusual movie <laughs> I've ever seen in my life in that respect. Um, it was a lot of fun. I don't think anybody else has seen health in that respect. In fact, I don't think very many people actually saw the movie. It After it was released in Tampa, it got released in a few other theaters. And I don't think it ever got a very wide release. Um, it's well, probably one of the most rare movies made by Hollywood. But that was my experience seeing the movie Health. I don't see how it get more unusual. And uh, I recommend people see it. Henry Gibson, the Dick Cavett interview was pretty funny with Carol Burnett. But um, unless you were there in the audience with hundreds and hundreds of other people and their family and friends watching themselves on the big screen for the very first time, hooting and hollering and standing up and clapping and yelling and screaming, I don't think you'd ever have the same experience. It was a wonderful movie and wonderful time. All right, guys, hope you like this little uh flash from the past <laughs> and go see the movie health it's on youtube you can see it for nothing all right guys take care and see you out there